in the black community, I feel like we have a lot of mental health problems that aren't discussed. We'll talk about black men having trouble because of masculinity, but black women have trouble too because you're supposed to be strong. But we can't always be strong. I think it's actually, it's a weird idea to continue to be strong and okay all the time, but be struggling behind closed doors. I feel like it's something that just needs to be talked about more, which is why I like to showcase, in a way, some of the after effects with my artwork, rather than focusing on, well, you know, like, you'll be okay and you'll get there. It's more like, I want to show this is what it's doing to us. I really like Denton. From a small town, it's kind of small, <laughs> but it's comfortable and it makes me feel at home, surprisingly, which I didn't think it would. It makes people feel comfortable and I feel like since it's very open to a lot of different people, a lot of different people feel comfortable. <laughs> I think anybody that creates could identify themselves as an artist, just as long as you're open to creating and failing. I think that's what it means to be an artist. And just being free and um, understanding that not everyone is going to like what you do, but as long as you like what you do, that's what truly matters. In my undergrad, there was a time when one of my teachers wanted me to not talk about my art being black as much and not wanting me to paint black people as much because she didn't want me to be kind of categorized as a black artist. But I kind of just like nodded because I didn't really understand what she was talking about at that time. When I went home, I was like, but, but I'm black <laughs> and I'm an artist. So what's wrong with me being a black artist? I don't really think I have to be like an artist necessarily. And I'm okay with differentiating myself as a black artist. Painting gives me a way for my mind to be kind of silent for a little bit. I think oh, my mental health has gotten a lot better. I did get like diagnosed with social anxiety a few years ago. And every time I would draw or paint, even when I was little and I was just coloring, my mind was always like silent. And it gives me a way to be calm for a moment. But I'm still talking about things that I want to talk about. I think it's important for a lot of minority artists in general to talk about their culture, not because they have to. I feel like they're forced to a little bit, um, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think this is a very nurturing community overall, and that there is this shared perspective that it's a strong and independent community. So I think art was happening here long before anybody began to notice it and celebrate it. Fortunately, 50 years ago, the Greater Denton Arts Council came into being because the women of this community recognized that there was a need to capture that art and to make it available to everyone. So it's built into the structure of Denton. My name is Georgina Ngozi. I serve as the Executive Director for the Greater Denton Arts Council, which I consider to be a real privilege. We did the call for 30 Under 30, and Yvonne was one of the, the persons that submitted. And interestingly, we had, I think, somewhere close to 70 submissions, but we could only choose 30. She was one of the chosen. Her work. Her work for me was, was a bit experimental, but also was challenged me to think about what, she, what was being said. So it was striking to me that she was using her art to address mental illness. Um, I think we're all called to, to do something in the world that makes it better, that expands others' way of seeing and thinking. And she has taken that up. In, in deciding to do and to make available her art to, for others to see and to comment on.
I had not heard of the Denton Black Film Festival before moving here to Denton. And I am just amazed at its growth over the time I've been here. And I think it's now into its fifth or sixth year. And it's a film festival for everybody, but it's also a lot of other things. It's comedy, it's poetry, it's dialogue, it's conversation. And this year they've added tech. And it brings people into our community, into the Denton community. I think the Denton Black Film Festival is dope. <laughs> I think it's really cool that we are able to branch out a bit and teach people about our culture as black people. But I would say that I just paint black characters, just black people. I think it's important for me to, to just do that. And I think I like before I was kind of saying that a big part of that was because that's my reality. But yeah, I, I grew up around black people. So I want to show people that we should be a part of everything as well. I'm painting black people because they're me <laughs> and I'm them. So 